Welcome aboard the Jeannot Sonata C440. My name is Eric Stromberg. This brand new boat is the first boat of the eighth generation of Sonata C models. It's a new generation being launched this year. The Sonata C range was launched 27 years ago, and since then 17,000 Sonata Cs have been built, and we've developed 48 uh, new models. This new model, uh, which was done in development with uh, Jean-Marc Pieton and Philippe Briand, really marks a departure from what we've done in the past. It was developed around uh, three key features, which are uh, redefining of movement on board the boat, the way that we circulate on the boat, the way that we live on the boat, a focus on having a full featured interior, which is part of the Sonata C DNA, but with a little bit of a twist in terms of its design and uh, some of the, the key features that we added down below. And the third point was to work on perfecting sailing, to make sure that the boat was a seaworthy and a true sailor's boat, which again has always been part of our DNA. We really wanted to start by redefining the way that you move around on the boat, the whole circulation and the security on board. So we started with a very nice uh, wide uh, uh, foredeck and with uh, wide side decks with a GRP uh, bulwark all the way along that keeps one very secure uh, as you move around the boat. Another key feature was here at the shrouds where we kept the vertical shroud on the outboard side in order to give the mast maximum stability. And the diagonal shroud, we moved inboard. So you can see the passageway here is nice and large, and it gives you a handhold to, to grab onto as you move around the deck. And as we arrive at the aft part of the, of the side deck, you can see that it inclines and comes all the way down to reach the level of the cockpit, which means you can walk all the way back from the side deck into the cockpit without stepping over the combing, without taking any step whatsoever. So this is really a, a fantastic feature of the Sonata C440. The ease of circulation extends from the side deck on into the cockpit, where we have a, a large uh, fold-down uh, swim platform, which gives great access to the sea, uh, easy access up onto the boat, very wide cockpit. The port side passageway is, is uh, given over to circulation, while on the starboard side we create a nice little saloon with an, an L-seating area. Rarely have we developed a cockpit table with so many features. At the aft end of the, of the table we have a 12-volt plug, controls for the electrical uh, swim platform, uh, all of the lighting and everything throughout the cockpit, autopilot, tri-data, compass. We even have a very nice view here of the engine panel, which can be easily seen from the helm, cup holders, uh, handrails, plenty of storage, and at the front end, we even have a uh, removable portable fridge unit. A lot of thought was given in the cockpit to the, to the life aboard and to the lounging spaces. Uh, so one, one thing we created was a, an infill piece for uh, a sun deck here inside the cockpit. We have a very nice, uh, very high uh, combing because we don't have to walk uh, over the combing. We can walk around it using the uh, inclined side decks. And so we actually even took this, uh, this combing here and made it an opening combing. So with a very simple latch, we can open it up, deploy it, and make a, a very nice, uh, huge lounge space. And we can open up uh, these combings on both sides of the boat. Another key element in the circulation of the, of the boat and the ease of use and the movement that you find on board is the fact that we have lowered the gooseneck fitting to the, really the minimum level. So you can see here, the gooseneck is only just below uh, waist height, which means that it's very easy to access the, the sail. Uh, very easy to open and close the, uh, the lazy bag. Uh, and this type of system, the only thing that uh, changes is that you have to have a very strong vang. So you can see that the boom vang itself is a, is a, very, uh, uh, a very large uh, boom vang. But this whole uh, setup here means that the boat gives you additional sail area because your boom is down lower and great access uh, for the sail handling, putting the sails away, zipping up the bag, instead of having to climb up mast steps and so forth. So this really makes uh, sail handling uh, very different than what we have on our boats today. One of the key features of the new Sonata Sea range was really to perfect the sailing experience. We started with uh, Philippe Briand, who brought us a, a, a design of the hull and appendages that is inspired from the offshore racing world. Uh, you can see here with a very large forward section uh, with a uh, full length uh, chine on the boat. This uh, forward section uh, gives us considerable stability, power, and volume. We also hold the beam very far aft on the boat, which we stabilize then with uh, twin rudders. The twin rudders are mounted on Jeffa roller bearing, uh, self-aligning bearings, so very light, very controllable boat. We kept uh, an L-keel design, which is really the best keel uh, for uh, offshore uh, use, for cruising and so forth. Uh, with that, we added the, an integrated uh, bowsprit. The integrated bowsprit holds the anchor, as far out as possible from nearly vertical bow and allows attachment points for the code zero and for the asymmetrical uh, spinnaker. We've also changed the entire rig configuration on this new generation. So we've gone to what we call a cathedral style rigging. In a cathedral rig, uh, you do the twin uh, spreaders. 
but the upper part of the uh, rig is held by two separate diagonals. What this means is lowering the center of gravity of the rig, thus increasing the stability and the ability to hold sail area into uh, higher wind speeds, but uh, lowering the weight of the rig itself while maintaining a, a high rigidity of the rig. So it's a great combination, something again coming from the racing world uh, that's found its way uh, into this new generation of boats. We've also, because of the wider hull section here forward, we have a very shallow forward section of the boat. So we have uh, opted to use a retractable bow thruster uh, to make sailing uh, easy. So that's going to eliminate all of the drag uh, that comes from the traditional bow thruster tube. And it also allows uh, the bow thruster to be placed further forward on the boat. Uh, so it gives you better lever arm uh, movement. And because it's deeper in the boat, there's no cavitation. So we're putting a lot more of that power into the water. Part of the perfect sailing experience is to have a correctly designed uh, helm station. So a lot of thought went into the ergonomics uh, of the, the helm station. Because we have this very innovative inclined side deck, it allows us to push the helm station a little bit further uh, outboard. So we have great visibility forward, both seating and uh, standing. Uh, we've even brought the GPS screen in here and uh, angled it so that it has the, the perfect viewing angle uh, when you are uh, driving the boat. Uh, we can bring up all the various information here, windlass control, bow thruster control, along with throttle. So everything centralized here. And just forward, a couple of cup holders and the, uh, the centralized winches, which bring back the main sheet and jib sheet within easy reach of the helm. In our effort to find the very perfect sailing experience, we really wanted to look into different uh, types of programs. One thing that uh, the, uh, this new, uh, much more powerful, much more stable Philippe Briand design uh, helped us do was to uh, increase the, the, the sail area. So we developed a, a performance version with a much taller rig. We went to a textile rigging in order to keep uh, the center of gravity as low as possible. And with that new rig, we were able to increase uh, the sail area by more than 10%. So somebody who really wants to get out there and uh, sail the boat, have a lot more uh, sensation and so forth, uh, even though as the base version, we are still in some of the best uh, sail area to displacement ratios available on the market. This uh, performance version really takes you over and above for somebody who really, really enjoys getting out there on the water. And the second set of options that we developed around on the boat were uh, options for people who are going to go a little bit further, who are going to travel, spend more time on board, live aboard. Uh, options like davits, water makers, solar panels, full-sized appliances, and lots of uh, storage and uh, comfort uh, options throughout the boat. So uh, the platform that we designed with uh, Philippe Briand, this fantastic new uh, hull form, really allows us to adapt the boat to a variety of different uses and different programs. And the idea was, of course, to perfect everybody's sailing experience. For this new generation of Sonata Sea, we brought on board a new partner, Jean-Marc Pieton and his uh, design team, who were really able to take a, a new and fresh look at uh, interior design and that brought us a lot of great ideas. They were very clearly able to uh, bring innovative uh, concepts such as the, as the central galley, but also keep very, uh, very nautical uh, elements such as a, a real chart table to take fiddles and handrails and rounded edges which are part of the nautical tradition and Genot's DNA and bring them together with modern materials and uh, contemporary woodwork. It's really that combination uh, that they were able to uh, bring to the interior design of the boat that really set it apart from what has come before. The central galley is a key feature of the Sonata Sea 440. By placing it here in the middle of the boat, it's an area that moves the least uh, when the boat is underway or even at anchor. It has direct access to the saloon, direct access out to the cockpit, uh, easy to brace and to hold oneself in here underway. Lots of storage built in, so this great storage cabinet here in the middle with lots of uh, drawers. We have a, a refrigeration uh, unit here. Uh, we have a, a nice stove uh, and uh, oven combination which uh, is easily ventilated with the hatch uh, just above it. And we have here a kind of an innovative feature with the microwave. The microwave comes up on a lift, so it's there when you need it and when you don't need it. Very easy to put away and increase your countertop space. The chart table is, uh, is a truly best-in-class feature on this boat. Uh, it's a great amount of space, a uh, nice uh, size desk. We have a little bit of uh, we have a pen holder here, nice deep desk for all of your uh, all of your books and everything, and lots of storage throughout. Small niche storages for your keys and other items on the boat. Uh, we've developed a nice set of uh, clocks and barometers uh, that are all uh, signed uh, Genoa Sun Odyssey on the boat, and a centralization of all of the the command functions of the boat from a new touch screen here giving you uh, water. Uh, fuel battery levels uh, or touch panel with all of the instrumentation, music, charging for USB and so forth. So really a, a real focus on making this a space uh, that you can sit, uh, be part of the life on board the boat and have a, a place that is your, your command chair on board. 
Jean-Marc Pieton uh, in the interior design of the boat played on two key elements to create one of the best forward cabins in her category. The first was to shift the, aft, uh, the head compartment slightly aft, giving it the space to have both a large head and a separate shower, and removing a little bit from the forward cabin area. And of course the combination of that with the wider hull section forward gave us an incredible cabin, a fully rectangular berth, one meter sixty wide, two meters long. Uh, in fact, all of the berths on the boat are rectangular, so it's really just like at home. Uh, very easy access to both sides, large hull ports looking out, a mirror at the front, and lots and lots of storage, whether that be under the bed with big pull-out drawers or the full block of furniture here in the uh, forward cabin. There was a real desire in the interior design to sort of change some of the rules. We made a, an asymmetrical uh, forward bulkhead, which allows us to have the central galley, the big shower for the forward uh, area of the boat, and to create a much cozier uh, saloon area here in the central part of the boat. So it was very interesting to move some of these elements around uh, to give it a much uh, better feel down below. In addition to uh, the way that the boat was laid out, a lot of the materials and woods, uh, you could see here we have a, we have a possibility of having a, a material here on the, on the wall, uh, which uh, gives you a, a much softer feel. We could also have it finished in the wood. The wood that we developed uh, for this range can be in the, the traditional teak uh, that we've always done our Sun Odysseys in, or in this uh, new wood, which is a gray cedar, which gives it a very nice uh, warm feel. And all of that married up with a, a, a very wide selection of modern and contemporary fabrics throughout the boat. In addition, there was a, a lot of design work gone into creating an environment on board that made the least amount of uh, noise. So you see leather lining of the, of the furniture, uh, you see the, the fabrics uh, on, the, on the bulkheads. There are even sound mats there in the bottom of the cabinetry, uh, which create a, a space that as you move around and live on the boat, you create less, uh, less noise for the others that are on board. And the last point of the interior, and it is really something that is, uh, it's worth uh, seeing uh, to believe, is the amount of light and uh, ventilation that is created in this uh, space. You can see long hall ports, uh, long uh, coach roof windows, lots of opening hatches, uh, lots of opening ports, even in the aft areas of the boat, which are often uh, neglected in that point. Uh, there is a, a ton of natural light, ventilation, uh, and really a space of, of openness throughout the boat. In keeping with the theme of uh, easy circulation, you can see that the forward cabin has the the big double doors which opens up the space. The entire flooring is done at one level, so there are no, uh, uh, no, nothing to step over, not even the door sills. Plenty of hand holds, hand rails, uh, and fiddles throughout the boat. And this very gentle companionway, which makes coming in and out very easy. Thanks for taking the time to visit the new and exciting Sun Odyssey 440, a boat that is really redefining the way that you move around uh, on board, uh, that we've given you a full feature interior with a little bit of a twist, and we've tried to perfect the sailing experience on all of the, uh, the different programs of uh, navigation. Come and see the boat at the boat shows, and if you need any additional information, you'll find it on our website at Juno.com.